Hey everyone, welcome back to Grant Me Admission Reviews, where you find all your questions about academics, admissions, student life, and funding answered in one short video. Today, we're going to be talking about UBC Sciences. This is one of the most popular programs at UBC and generally a very sought after program, not only in British Columbia, but in all of Canada and even the entire world. The University of British Columbia ranks amongst the top 40th best universities in the entire world, so it definitely comes with a lot of benefits and perks if you want to get admitted to UBC Sciences. So starting off with the number one benefit going right at it is career opportunities. So UBC Science does operate on a co-op based program, so you can apply to a co-op program where you can get placements in job industries and get workplace experience. The UBC Science program has co-op placements in top fields like computer science, engineering, biology, and chemistry. And 90% of these co-op placements are in the local British Columbia, so you don't need to travel far to also get work experience. But, on the other hand, if you do want to go travel far and do an exchange, UBC Science also has you covered. Because, UBC has partnered with a bunch of global universities that you can do and apply for exchanges for. This can be for semester exchanges, full year exchanges, and even co-op study terms. Although you can do an exchange and apply for an exchange at any time, usually students apply and get exchanges in their third year. For courses, UBC Science is one of the most versatile programs. It has a ton of courses that you can take and narrow down to a specific specialization like computer science, biology, or chemistry that you want to specialize later on in your degree. But with that said, there are a few requirements that you do need to do. Starting with number one, you need to have a lab required course, you need to take a math course, you need to take a communications course, and lastly, you need to meet the science breadth requirements. So summarizing the academic opportunities, it has a bunch of career opportunities because it places in a co-op program. You can do the exchange if you want to have a diverse experience. And thirdly, there are a ton of different courses you want to take to make sure your degree is right for you and you can really structure your learning so it fits your interests as well. But with that said, for academic, let's move on to admissions. How do you really get into UBC Sciences? What are the requirements? What are some tips? So starting right off with requirements, UBC does look at both your grade 12 and your grade 11 marks. So starting with grade 12, they look at your grade 12 English, they look at your grade 12 math. So in BC, this is pre-calculus and in Ontario and other places, this might look like advanced functions. And then they also look at your anatomy with, uh, and physiology 12, which is biology equivalent, and then or a chemistry 12 or a physics 12 as well. And then for grade 11 courses, they look at your English, they look at your chemistry, they look at your grade 11 physics, and they also look at your grade 11 math course. And the last thing that UBC looks for is a diverse course load in high school. So they look at related courses in language arts, math, and sciences. And then the last thing to top off all of the grade and course requirements in high school is a personal profile that UBC is known for. So this uh, includes your essays and this includes your activities and includes your personal statements that you need to write about yourself. My biggest tip for UBC's infamous profile is that it asks a lot of questions that you have like on a behavioral interview. So ask like, tell me about yourself. What is one challenge that you face and how did you overcome it? They ask things about like five activities. So make sure you have like five extracurricular activities that you can point to when you're writing this application as well. Let's move on to a little bit about admission statistics. So University of British Columbia is literally ranked amongst the top 40th schools in the entire world. It has a general acceptance rate of around 48%. But UBC Science is a competitive program and is one of a very popular program, so you can assume that the acceptance rate for UBC Science could be slightly lower than the overall admission average. Now let's talk a little bit about the admission average that you need to have to have a competitive application to UBC. The general admission average for UBC Science is 93%. Although this is quite high, I actually do recommend aiming for a 95 average just so it gives you a little bit of wiggle room in case you make a few mistakes on your personal profile. The reason I say this is because UBC weighs their personal profile and their academic grades quite equally. So they care a lot about your grades, but they also care about who you are as a person and how you present yourself in your personal profile. Now that you're done with admissions, let's talk a little about student life, starting off with residences. So UBC has a ton of variety of residences. You can go check it out on their website. They have single rooms, double rooms, single connected rooms, and even suite style. 
But the one thing I want to say is that the Orchard Commons residence is absolutely stunning and beautiful. So make sure you guys check out that residence if you want to apply. I definitely recommend it. It's mostly single connected rooms and it ranges from eleven to $15,000 for the full year. But if you just wanted to go for a, a residence experience, you can also opt out for a single term residence, which is just like just as good for just has half the price if you just want that residence experience. So you may be wondering, now you have a place to live, how do you really eat? So UBC has two types of meal plans. One is a residence all in meal plan. This costs $6,000. This is just literally all you can eat at all three dining halls. You can go as many times a day as you want, and you can also eat as much as you want. The last thing is that they have a flex plan. So you can upload money of about $500 at a time and you save 5% at all residents and also uh, university dining affiliated restaurants on campus. Now let's talk a little about social and student life. So one of the best things about UBC is that it's located right in the city. There's so much to do in Vancouver, like going to Stanley Park, and there's many beautiful places and many good places to eat as well with your friends. But if you're not looking for that and you like hear that, oh, UBC is just a commute school, UBC still has a ton of on-campus events as well. I'm going to link the calendar in the link in bio, but it has a ton of events that you want to see. And if you want to go to any of these events, just go on the calendar, make your, put yourself out there and go to the events and make as many friends as possible. Now, I know we talked about social life, but make sure you go into universities to study. And there are 12 different library branches at UBC. The main branch is the corner library branch, and it's the biggest and main branch on UBC. It houses most of the books and most of the collections. It's absolutely huge, and it has hundreds and thousands of books and resources for you. So make sure you check out corner library. It's one of the biggest and most beautiful uh, libraries on campus. If you're wondering how to get involved with UBC clubs, make sure you join their AMS. They have over 350 clubs they can choose from, so there's not a worry about a single interest or a single career that you a club that you want to join. You can find your passions, you can find your careers, you can even meet a ton of different friends from joining uh, the 350 clubs that UBC has to offer. Now, on to the last thing I want to talk about is about funding for UBC Science. So starting with tuition costs for UBC Science, it is $7,000 of tuition for the first year, and it's $7,500 for years two to five. This is for domestic students. If you're an international student for UBC Science, you're looking to pay around $44,000 for a full year of tuition. With that said though, let's talk a little bit about scholarships and how you can kind of lessen that burden on finances. So starting with the largest and most popular scholarship is the UBC Presidential's Entrance Scholarship. This is worth $40,000 and is a written application in your personal profile. In addition, there are a few automatic entrance scholarships that you automatically apply for when you go to UBC. So you're eligible to go for the health, student housing supplement grant. You're eligible for this Trek Excellence Scholarship. And you're also eligible for a few faculty recommended awards as well. Although UBC tuition is quite on the more expensive side, they offer a few scholarships for students on depending on their background. So make sure you check out the link I left in the bio and see if you're eligible to apply to any of these scholarships because it definitely takes a burden off the tuition cost. The last thing I want to talk about is financial aid and bursaries that UBC offers. So they offer it in two part. So there is a student emergency fund uh, and this is for students that suddenly have a family financial emergency and are unable to pay tuition, for example and they can apply to this uh, student emergency fund to still either get a loan or get a little bit of grant to help pay for the tuition. UBC does have a financial need bursaries that is fully based on financial needs and it comes in a threefold criteria. Starting one, you need to get your student loan application assessed by the provincial government to see what is the unmet need. Second of all, you need to uh, see your program's eligibility for UBC's bursaries and three, uh, you need to see your family's size and prior year's total family income in order to apply for this bursary. And if you meet all three criteria, UBC will sponsor the unmet need uh, to fund for your tuition. With that said, we covered academic admissions, student life, and funding. So that's literally everything you need to know about UBC Science in a nutshell. 
So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll be touching a bunch of different programs every single week. So make sure you turn on notifications as well. If you're interested to applying to scholarships and universities, check out the three minute quiz that I linked in the bio. It checks your eligibility for scholarships and see if you're eligible for Grammy's admission program for universities across Canada. With that said, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. See ya.